Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to let you know about a brand new sale. It's a pre-sale that's going on from Freeze Dried Wholesalers. I'm going to show you what I picked up this month and I'm going to show you a new recipe. Got a lot to cover, so let's get to it. All right, folks, welcome back. So first off on this pre-sale, let's talk about that first. Uh, it's a pre-sale on the freeze-dried black Angus ribeye steaks. Really, really good. We've done a video on those before. Uh, they are really, really good. You hydrate them, you cook them. Nothing better than a steak meal after some kind of major disaster or some kind of crisis gets you feeling like you're back home again and everything's nice and normal. All right, this is how it's going to run. For the next three days, you can pre-order as many of these freeze-dried ribeye steaks as you want until midnight on Sunday, May 14th, this year, 2023, of course, by placing your order online using the website. My link will be down below. However, I have a different discount code for you. Do use my link, but I do have a different, a different discount code for you, and we'll get to that in a second. He only has about 30,000 pounds of the ribeye steaks. That's all he can freeze dry. So if it sells out before Sunday, got to pull the listing. So get your orders in quickly, okay? We don't want you to miss out on this deal. Okay, you're going to use the promo code RIBEYE, R-I-B-E-Y-E. -E. It'll be down, down at the bottom so you can copy it. During checkout to take 20% off your order. Now, you can't combine my 15 and that 20. So you're going to use my link. You're going to get to the end. You're going to put in the code RIBEYE, and you'll be able to save some money on that, okay? They've started to freeze dry the steaks already. They're going to keep them going every single day until every order has shipped. But once they're gone, they're gone, okay? Plan on about a maximum of four to six weeks in the worst case scenario, okay? Most likely, you're going to get it within a week or two. But if demand is super, super high, you might end up waiting about a month to six weeks for your order, okay? You're not going to find this product anywhere else, all right? It's not easy to find fresh ribeye fresh rib steaks in regular grocery stores these days. So where else are you going to find USDA prime beef that's been freeze-dried and has a 25-year shelf life? So remember, folks, this is for the next three days until midnight at Sunday. You can order as many as you want, all right? You can order other items with it, but remember to use the code RIBEYE. And if you order other items, I'm not really sure, but I'm pretty sure the other items will get my 15% discount. So if you want to order ribeye steaks and, let's say, some freeze-dried potatoes and vegetables with it, these will get the 15% discount. That will get the 20. Uh, again, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's how it's going to work. So remember to use the code RIBEYE at checkout. All right. That is a pre-sale. You know how these things work. You buy, we've been doing these for a while now. What you're going to do is go online, order them, and wait for your order. You're going to prepay for it, and then you'll get it through. So he only has 30,000 pounds. When they're gone, they're gone, okay? So let's get this rolling. Get you guys some good steaks for your preps to store up. Where else can you get freeze-dried ribeye steaks? Nowhere but freeze-dried wholesalers. Really quickly, this is some of the stuff I picked up. Got some beef fajita strips, some freeze-dried ground beef. I got three of the meatballs because I love the meatballs. Uh, vegetables, again, showed you the freeze-dried potatoes and vegetables. Freeze-dried eggplant. Got burgers, got eggs. That fell nice and conveniently for me. Got some freeze-dried stir-fry buns, some tortellini, some dried zucchini, and another thing of tortellini. Uh, what's back here? I forgot. I forgot. What is it? What is it? Brownies. Oh, I love their brownies. These brownie bites are awesome. Anyway, let's get to cooking. What we're going to make today is some Dijon chicken using freeze-dried wholesaler stuff. So let me get that set up, and let's get to it. All right. So that is one heck of a crowded table here. But this is actually a very, very simple easy meal okay this is dijon chicken you're going to be using a little white wine a little bit of chicken bouillon if you can't use white wine you may not be able to some people for different reasons may not want to use it you can substitute that with chicken stock or chicken broth uh, we're going to be using a little bit of everything here for the chicken the ingredients you're going to need about two pounds of chicken i have a freeze-dried wholesaler chicken here that i hydrated from this morning so that's sitting right there ready to go all hydrated all nice and soft and ready to cook Okay, you're going to need about two pounds of it. You're going to need a teaspoon of seasoning salt or regular salt. I have my little camp salt and pepper shaker right there, ready to go. After that, you're going to need about a quarter teaspoon of pepper, again, mixed in there, and about five ounces of bacon, and that's all chopped up over here. I think you can see where this is going to go. This is going to be really tasty. All right. For the sauce, two tablespoons of butter, one onion. I got butter and onion over here. We're using the freeze-dried wholesaler onions. I did smash the things up a little bit. When I want to crush something up, like the bouillon that we're going to be using, of course, it's cubes. I put it in a Ziploc bag and take a little meat mallet and tap on it lightly. It'll break up. So we've mushed that all up. We're going to be using four cloves of garlic, okay? Now, I do have garlic salt and 
paste. We're probably going to use the paste. Um, this stuff stores very well. It does need to be refrigerated, but if you got backup for your refrigerator, you're good to go. I also have freeze dried garlic, but I didn't want to break that out for this. So we're just going to use that. One teaspoon of chopped parsley, one teaspoon each of thyme and dried rosemary. Okay. Thyme and rosemary right here. Okay. What I did, because it was kind of thick, is I took put it in the bag and smushed it all up. Tapped on it and smushed it all up. After that, one third cup of dry white wine. I use this cheap cooking wine. I bought at Walmart. Not really a drinker, so I don't have a lot of wine lying around the house, so we use that. And again, if you don't want the wine, you can substitute it with low sodium chicken broth or chicken stock. One and a half cups of half and half. That's back here. Okay, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, which is hidden back here. Might be hard to see this stuff, but we'll, we'll pull it all out when we're cooking. Okay, after that, half a teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder over here. Whoops, like I showed you, we crushed that up. And lastly, half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper to taste. We're just going to go with our salt and pepper there. So your first step is going to be preparing the chicken, okay? We're going to season the chicken with salt and pepper. We're going to heat about one tablespoon of oil in there. I got some oil right here. So let's put a tablespoon in. Let's follow this exactly. There we go. That's about right. That'll work. So we're going to put that in there. I'm going to heat it up. The reason I'm doing this on one burner is I want you folks to understand that this stuff can be done with one burner. You'll notice I have rice out back there. I don't know if you can see it. I have it hydrating in this little pot on the corner there. Um, you can do all this with one burner. Rice is an excellent insulator. So once it's warm and ready to go, you can put it on here, heat it up, and it'll be set. So you want to do your chicken first. So let's kick this on. Start this off. Put it on medium heat and kind of get it around the pan. I might put a little bit more in there because this is a little bit of a larger pan than I expected to use. We'll let that heat up. I'm going to season the chicken with salt and pepper. And I'll bring you back when we put that in. All right, I'm pretty sure I got this nice and warm enough. I don't want to get it too hot. we we'll just put the chicken in there. Cook that up. Should take about anywhere from four to six minutes, depending on how thick your chicken breasts are. And remember that this will have a little bit of liquid in it because we did hydrate it. So there might be a little bit of splatter when that comes off. But what we're going to do is let that cook. And I'm going to bring you back once we put the bacon in. We're going to cook this up, put it to the side, then put the bacon in and kind of gather up all that yummy sauce that's in there and yummy taste that's in there. And I'll bring you right back. All right, so as you can see, chicken's all done. We're going to transfer that to the plate over here. Let that sit on the side because it will warm up once we put it back in the sauce too. we got sauce to make for this. So Next up, we're going to put the bacon in and cook it. Okay. And we're going to cook that until it's crispy. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to transfer that to the plate. And I'll bring you back once that's done. All right. So we're going to get this bacon out of here because it's nice and crispy. I'm going to transfer it over to the same plate with the chicken. Doesn't matter if there's a little bit left in there. No big deal. And move you on to the next step. All right, I left about, I don't know, two tablespoons worth of bacon grease in there. I'm going to refire this up because I don't want to leave the bacon grease burning too much. And we're going to add our rosemary and thyme. We're going to add in our onions. You know, if you use clear, uh, if you use uh, fresh onions, you want to kind of clear them down and get them cooked until they're clear. Okay. Turn the heat down on that already because there we go. I'm going to put our garlic in. Not burn our onion. There we go. I'm just going to mix this around in here quickly. And that should be done. Okay. That does burn up quick if you're not careful. But browned onions are really good. So we're going to do that for a little bit. And then we're going to use some white wine and deglaze the pan once everything All is right, fragrant. let's add in the wine here. About a quarter cup. And you kind of just want to let this uh, reduce down. The wine will reduce down. I put in the butter already. So the wine will reduce down and thicken the sauce. And it's already doing pretty good. You want to make sure you thicken the sauce and you don't break it. And there we go. And we'll move on to the next All step. All right. This is where we're going to add in after about three or four minutes. We're going to add in our heavy cream. Okay. And I will need a whisk for this. And our two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Sure hope I can fit this tablespoon thing in here. I don't think I can. Well, we'll estimate. How about that? <laughs> doesn't like to come out this way, but we'll guess to me. Actually, what I'll do is I'll use a smaller one. That's about right. A lot of this is eyeballing it anyway. Nothing's going to be an exact science. Now, we're going to mix that all up and let that kind of soak in there for a few minutes. 
and then we'll finish up. All right, we're gonna turn that down a tiny little bit. There we go. Add some Parmesan cheese in there. You'll notice it's already thickened up pretty well. But I just wanna add some Parmesan cheese for taste. This actually came out really, really good. Got too much stuff in my way here. There we go. Now what we're gonna do is add in the chicken and the bacon, just toss it in there. Place it in there, let it finish up. Okay, there we go, and the bacon. There we go. So I'm gonna let that kind of simmer for a little while here, and then we're gonna cook the rice up. Now this is a freeze-dried wholesaler's long grain rice. Basically I had it hydrating this morning. So I'm just gonna try and warm it up on a low heat. It's almost ready to go. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. There we go. And I'll bring you back once that's ready. We'll plate everything up and I'll tell you what it looks like and we'll taste it all out. Right. Rice is all finished up. We plated it up and there is the finished project. And I gotta tell you, that sauce is amazing. There's just enough Dijon in there to give you a hint, but it's not overpowering. Really good stuff. So let's cut a little piece off the end of this thing here and give it a try. It's nice and tender, too. The chicken came out awesome. Mmm, man. That is absolutely amazing. And the sauce is just awesome, too. Mmm. Okay. We definitely got a winner there. So that's the Dijon chicken. Very simple, very easy recipe. It looked like a lot of stuff, but actually it really isn't. This is just a very small table. Very easy to make. Uh, definitely going to be awesome lunch today. Uh, very simple put together. And uh, don't forget the free sale. The pre-sale on those uh, freeze-dried black Angus ribeye steaks. Uh, you got three days. Hit that website. My link's down below. And use that code ribeye to save 20% during checkout on your pre-order. Remember, that code is only good for the next three days. Use my link. If you buy anything else, you'll get my 15% discount. But you won't get it on the ribeyes. The ribeyes are 20%. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. I'm going to go have some lunch. Don't forget to check out all our links. As usual, you have our freeze-dried wholesale link down there. First link up top. Below that, our Amazon affiliate store. I have all the stuff that I use in the store. Stuff like, you know, stuff like that. If you're interested in some of that, you can check it out. If not, click the link. Shop as you normally would. We do appreciate that. Our My Patriot Supply link. We have $200 off a three-month kit as well as $200 worth of free survival gear with that kit. And below that is our Thrive Life freeze-dried food store. I thank you guys for watching and taking some time with me. Stay safe and stay prepared.